one of the things that is pointed out in Matthew chapter 21 is after this, this Palm Sunday procession and the Savior's being proclaimed, there's, there's an interesting verse here. Matthew records, and when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? Now the Greek for moved here is probably better translated turmoil or stirred. So it's causing that, that friction you were talking about earlier, Matt. But then look at verse 11. And the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. So one of the things I love about Camilla's question is she's saying, how can I be more humble? Sometimes being more humble is simply recognizing something's going on. Maybe there's some turmoil. Uh, maybe there's some misunderstanding about a doctrine or a story. Mm-hmm. And one of the best things you can do is like those crowds, those multitudes in Jerusalem, Ask about it. Be humble enough to not think, oh, I already know all this already, or I should know this already, and ask and find answers in that way. Yeah, and just as a follow-up, I think that in the next segment, we'll see some aspects of Jesus' teachings in Jerusalem that will even better speak to this question uh, as it has to do with uh, the kind of the tugs and the impulses that we all feel to want people to see our righteousness, to see our good works, to see our commitment to the kingdom. And Jesus is basically going to say in the next segment, uh, I'm not as interested actually in those outward expressions of whatever righteousness you think you have. Uh, What I'm much more interested in is, do you love other people? Do you reach out to those who are less privileged than you? And I think that in that kind of flipping of kingship from earthly, worldly trappings to issues of the heart and issues of compassion and issues of outreach, like Jesus wants to seem to flip the idea of kingdom, I think we're gonna find a lot of great answers to Camilla's question. 